Hello everyone, it's me, Louie of Louie Man Gaming, and I'm back with more Skullgirl Second Encore. Okay, so I'm going uh, on to story mode. And I'm going to play a as... Oh yeah. And that's actually who I wanted to play as, actually. So random pick the right character. It's a little loud. Car to chief. Albus and the Medici Tower. Lorenzo, are you there, darling? It's been such a long time. What's the special occasion? Welcome, Eliza. I'll be speaking on my father's behalf. Forgive me for being terse, but as you may realize, our business has two pressing problems. You've heard about the latest Skullgirl, I presume? A little, as much as anyone else. You're doing such a good job keeping her victims under wraps, dear. All I know is it's like poor Selene all over again. You have my sympathies, but I don't do funerals. That brings us to our second problem racket you're running. You think we didn't know? You've been skimming from all those blood drives, Eliza. There's no bigger sin than stealing from charity. Now, imagine if the public found out. So you're jumping at the chance to blackmail me. It doesn't pay to underestimate your partners, does it, darling? I take it you're not asking for a song. We both have our secrets to protect. I believe these two problems share one solution. You. Do you expect me to hunt the Skullgirl? <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry, but that's just not my scene. My place is on the stage. Don't underestimate us. We know damn well what you're capable of. You have a knack for tracking blood. Just like we do for talent. Of course, we wouldn't send you out alone. That's where I come in. Cerebella. Cerebella here will ensure that everything goes smoothly. You can count on me. And don't worry, Vitaly. We'll nab that cat if we see her too. That's my girl. As for you, Eliza, if you fail, we're going to have a conversation neither of us wants. Kill her! Kill her and bring me her heart, or you are finished in this town. You hear me? I will ruin you! Lorenzo? Oh, Lorenzo. I hardly recognized you. You've grown so... distinguished. <laughs> At least now I can see why you're so desperate. when I rip out your skeleton and see if it's more useful to me than you are! You should hurry before it comes to that. Forget the blood scandal. Your fans would be in mourning. Hmm. Seek met her parasite. The Medici's are breathing down our necks, but all they send along is his little girl? Is this supposed to be a joke? The girl must have made quite a dent in their numbers if they're forced to recruit from the circus. Yeah, Horace. could have sent anyone. I'm all it takes. You'll learn that the hard way if you aren't careful. That living weapon of yours may be a powerhouse in a hat, but that strength never belonged to you. What are you talking about? It's not that different from you and your parasites. Hush, hon. I'm impressed that you aren't completely in the dark, but I'm more interested in getting this job over with. Ma'am, I believe that we may have found our first lead. Too right. Some smell. 
ourselves in a grave, that's for sure. Come, we have work to do. Plus, little girl. I can't believe we got in a fight with the princess of all people. We must look like a pair of hooligans. Who, Parasol? If she turned out anything like her father, I would not work. Oh. Hold on, let me... I gotta keep making sure... I haven't pressed in a long time, so that's what the problem is. Besides, it was entirely her fault for lumping us in with those mindless, slouching zombies. You would think royalty would recognize the value of proper posture. My, my. I thought all the dead were under the control of the Skullgirl. Yet you two don't seem to be. Thank you. Oh, that's so flattering of you, sugar. You are quite famous yourself. But I'm more interested in whether your friend remembers me. Say Matt. Say Matt. It can't be. You should be dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? You're going to blow your cover. Don't worry, he's known me for a long time, sweetie. Leviathan, I know we've had our differences, but I must know if I can count on your support in these troubled times. Surely you've thought of reclaiming your rightful place as a theon, just as I have. Or has the proud serpent I knew been reduced to a worm, digging his way through a rotten apple? My place is with those who share my ideas. Together we protect what we can. That has always been where I take my pride. And look where pride has led you. My life, on the other hand, has been rosy. Only by hiding your true nature. But I can see that it has re-emerged. Whatever purpose has awakened you, you must be stopped. Someone who knows our lady, but not well enough to stay out of the way. That's cute. Time for your return trip to the underworld, worm. Leviathan, who in the world are these people? The diva you so admire is nothing more than a blood-drenched idol. In our time, she called herself Neferu, but we knew her as the Crimson Scourge. The others, mere lackeys. in ages. It brings back such beautiful memories. It is past time for us to catch up, Leviathan. It's been far too long. Unfortunately, like, I've been taking a little long on the, uh, um, story mode, like, the cutscenes, but anyway, uh, that is wrap for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. A comment, tell me what you think. Chat, Louis out of here.